Hi everyone! Okay, so today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make this cute little pink shawl that I made based on another TikTok video that I saw. Um, here's all the materials and the abbreviations that we're going to use. First up, we're going to make the sleeves. So that's just going to be a chain, a long chain, that is the length of your arm, or at least three quarters which is what I did, and I chained 85 chains. Then we're going to double crochet in each chain, skipping the first two. Then we're basically going to be doing that over and over again, but we're going to chain two and then when you double crochet in each stitch, it's just the back loop only and that's to make the ribbing effect. And we're just going to keep doing that over and over again until it can wrap around the widest part of your arm. Okay, so then we're going to sew, well, slip stitch, but you can sew the first and last row together. And when you slip stitch into this, you're going to slip stitch into each stitch of the first one normally, and then slip stitch into the back loop only, so that the Ribbing is even. Then you're going to fasten off, which I just do with the chain. And then you cut it. Pull through the yarn. And there's your sleeve. Pull it the right way around. And you've got to do that twice. Okay, now for the main part of the shawl thingy, we're going to chain long enough to wrap around yourself completely. So you start it from your front, you start it from your elbow, then you wrap it around yourself to the other elbow, which mine ended up being 274 chains. But you're going to chain in groups of 24 and then plus 10 at the end. For the first row, we're just going to double crochet in each and every chain, skipping two at the beginning. Then for the second row, we're going to chain two. Turn your work and then chain 12. That's two, three, and we've started to get into the actual pattern, which I think are like little flowers or something, but I just like it because it's cute.
No, I think that's 12. 3, 6, 9, 12. Then we're going to chain 2 and skip 2 stitches. And in the third one, we're going to start double crocheting 4. That's 1. And two and three and four. Then we're going to chain two again, creating another little gap and double crochet four again. Okay, and now we're just going to repeat that over and over again until you reach the end. Okay, for round three, we're going to chain two once again, then double crochet nine times. That's four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight and nine then we're going to chain two skip two again which is going to be common throughout this pattern double crochet four which there's the first one and we're going to double crochet two in the little gap there And then there's the fourth one. Then we're going to chain two again. Skip two. And double crochet four. Okay, now chain two last time skipping two and double crochet then we're going to repeat that over and over again starting from the double crochet nine and once you get to the end you're going to double crochet eight Okay, for round four, chaining two again, turning the work, we're going to start off with double crocheting six. So each round we start off with three less than we did before and then it goes back up again. Okay, and then we're going to chain two, skip two, double crochet four, we're going to double crochet into the space again, and then there's four, and then we're going to chain five. three, four, five, and then we're going to triple crochet into the next chain two space, chain five again, three, 
triple five. Skip three stitches, three double crochets, and double crochet four. There's one, two, three, four. Then we're going to chain two, skip two, and double crochet four. And then we're going to repeat that over and over again, starting from the chain two. And then we end it with double crocheting twice at the end there. To start off the next round, we're going to chain two. Turning and double crocheting three this time. Then we're going to chain two and skip two, double crochet four, then we're going to chain six, one more than last row. And we're going to single crochet three. In this, I single crochet in the last chain of the chain five from last round, and then on the triple crochet. And then in the first chain of the next chain five. But eventually I stop doing it in the chains and I just do it in the spaces. Just a little easier. And then we're chaining six. We're skipping three, double crochets, and double crocheting four. Well, then we double crochet and just keep repeating it. Then we're going to double crochet three at the end, chain two, and double crochet three. So each round we're just repeating what's in the brackets basically until we reach the end where there's sometimes a couple things left over. Chaining two for the next round and turning. And then we're going to double crochet six. So now we're moving up again. So crocheting two in the spaces. Then we're going to chain seven. And we're going to single crochet. I would just do it in the space, but in the video I do it in the last chain. Of the chain six and then single crochet three and then once more in the space or the first chain so all together that's five and then we're chaining seven again then we skip three and double crochet four. And then we're just repeating again what's in the brackets. 
until we get to the end. Then we double crochet two once we've reached the end. And chaining two to start the new round. And turning over. And we're double crocheting three again. Chaining two. Skipping two. And double crocheting four. And in this one, for the remaining three double crochets, I do it in the chains. But I think it's easy just to do it in the spaces. Then we're going to chain six. Then we are going to single crochet three, skipping one single crochet. So it's in the middle of that single crochet five from last round. Then we're going to chain six. And double crochet four, doing the first three on the chains or in the space. And we're just going to repeat that over and over again. Repeat what's in the brackets. And then once you reach the end, we're going to chain two, skip two, and double crochet three to finish it. Starting of a new round, chaining two and turning, we're going to double crochet six again. In the chain two space. Then the last one. Then we're going to chain two again, double crochet four, again I do it on the chains, but I don't really think it looks that different from when you do it in the space anyway, it's a little bit faster. Then we are going to chain four and triple crochet on the middle single crochet, so the second one. So it's in between those three single crochets. Chaining four again, double crocheting four on the chain. Well, three on the chain and then one in the on top of the double crochet. Got a little stuck. And then we're going to chain two. Skip two, double crochet four, put that in the wrong spot, then 
There we go, double crochet four. And repeat what's in the bracket. Once you reach the end, double crochet two. Then chaining two, turning for the next round. And row nine, we're going to double crochet nine. That lines up nicely. Three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine. Then we're going to chain two, skip two, and double crochet four. Again, I'm doing it on the chain instead of just in the space. And that's four. Then we are going to chain two. Skip with that triple crochet. And chain into the last three chains. Then in the first double crochet, then we're going to chain two, skip two, and double crochet. Repeat that along, and once you reach the end, you're going to double crochet eight. That's three. Four, five, six, seven. Okay, I don't know how I miscount that. Chain two and turn, or row ten, which is the last row of this pattern that you need to repeat. We're once back again at double crocheting 12. Having trouble with these double crochets. And that's six. Seven, eight, nine, yep, ten, eleven, twelve. Then we're going to chain two and skip two. Double crochet four. Then we're going to chain two, skip two again, and double crochet four. After you finish that, we're just going to be repeating what's in the brackets. until you reach the end.
And then we're chaining, not chaining, then we're double crocheting eight. Okay, so now we're going to repeat the rows from row 3. And then you're done once you have repeated it enough times to cover you from over your shoulder to your elbow or your inner elbow, I guess. And then to finish it off, you just double crochet in every, every stitch, just like in the first round. Okay, we're going to fasten off, we just chain one and cut the yarn, but leave a very long tail so you can sew that side onto the sleeve. I cut my tail way too long, but I ended up using the excess for the other sleeve, so it's okay. It's all good. Pull that yarn through. And then we are going to sew each side onto each sleeve and you're going to have to scrunch the main part together because it's not the same size. Once you've sewed on like that, you are finished, you just have to weave in the ends. And then it's done. Now this is how you put it on. You put one arm in, throw the other side of your shoulder, pull it around you, try not to get twisted, and then put your arm in, the other arm in. Then just adjust it so it's all flowy and cute. Oh, so pretty, so pink. So wonderful. And there we have it. Wrap finished. So cute. You can pull it up or down. 